The purpose of this uh, session is to give you an introduction in how to really get started with a PNP modern search because we've seen a number of cases recently in the support area on the project where people have had to struggle how to really get it in, installed in their tenant for various reasons. So I'll go back to back to basis and see how what we can do there. So my name is Kasper Larsen, and I am, as I said, there working with the PNP Modern Search and uh, other related uh, issues, uh, content. So um, this is where you can find my contact info. So what is PNP Modern Search really? It's a set of uh, what parts that allow you to tailor your search-driven solutions because we got so much from from what we got today from Microsoft, and it's always improving. But some cases we really need to to tailor our experience for our customers to do something which we can't do using the out of the box uh, uh, options available. Uh, it's of course it's open source. It's driven by the community and um, some people think that we can only use SharePoint as a, a uh, as a data source, but we can also use uh, uh, Microsoft Search, which is a great uh, boon because Microsoft Search is uh, spreading all over uh, Microsoft 365, and we get more and more uh, options available that way around. So that was the wrong way. So uh, we have the documentation and guides, of course, uh, on the site uh, in, in GitHub. But that's also where we have the source code and issues and discussions. So if you have anything um, that we think it doesn't work, or I don't know how it makes, how to make it work, uh, please do uh, ask us there because we are pretty good at uh, answering the questions. We also have office hours, which is an offering where people can get um, half an hour or 15 minutes to 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 discuss their issues in a one to one uh, in a Teams call. So uh, if you have something that you would like to discuss, please sign up for that. That's uh, every two weeks that we have uh, an hour worth of uh, office hour. So something about environments, because uh, if the optimal way to test uh, the PMP web parts is so sort of like to to kick the tires to to see what it can do and uh, how we can use it is of course to get an environment where you are your own master. So if you can get a developer tenant using um, the Microsoft 365 developer program, that would be optimal because well you have your own tenant, you are your own uh, global admin, you can do whatever you want, and so that will give you uh, all the options available. Uh, if you can't do that because uh, for reasons, uh, perhaps you can get a demo tenant where Microsoft are providing demo tenants uh, for at least for, for some of their partners. And so if you can get your whole, get your fingers in, in, in one of these uh, three months uh, tenants or one month tenants, uh, that would do nicely as well. Of course, it will eventually uh, disappear. So so uh, don't uh, store too much, too much of your intellectual property there. Uh, but it will give you an option to 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 really try it out to do what uh, wherever you can. If that's not an option, uh, and your employer um, should have, if they have a, a fairly sized uh, development uh, offering, they should have a, a development and test environment for um, in, in their in the in house. Because if you have something in your production environment and you are doing development on your production environment. Yeah, well, that's not optimal, but and you can always buy a developer or test a, a tenant using it with a very small number of, uh, of uh, licenses, so it doesn't have to cost uh, uh, too much. And if that's not an option, uh, well, you can test it using your production environment uh, without making it uh, break. Uh, but well, that is uh, the last uh, option uh, from my point of view. So uh, how do you really uh, start using it? Well, of course, you go to the GitHub uh, repository and download the SP package uh, file, and then you uh, install it into your uh, into your tenant app catalog. And um, Times that is not going to work. 
because we have something called internal security and, inter and internal uh, audit people, and they are not so keen on allowing people to install stuff in the uh, tenant app catalog. So that might not be an option, but we have other ways. But just in case we actually have the option to, to install something in the tenant app catalog, let's try to do that. So we shift to my tenant here. Uh, of course, there's just the documentation and we have the GitHub repository over there and we can go over here, grab the latest version. You see that the current version is 4.93. And that is partly true because we also have, as I said earlier in the call, we have uh, version uh, 4.10 but it's in pre-release, so uh, we'll get uh, that uh, released eventually. But we go over here and we just download um, the package from here. It is downloaded to my local hard drive and I can take it from there. If I have my own tenant or I have access to it, I can go into the SharePoint Admin Center, go into more features, go into apps as we're used to, and in here, if we install it in here, uh, sometimes we will have to wait uh, for it to take effect. Uh, the first case I've seen was about 24 hours. So if you're planning to actually do something with this, please install it uh, ahead of time. That would be a good idea. Uh, by the way, it's pretty small. Perhaps I can scale it up. It says up here that Microsoft uh, SharePoint add-ins will be retired. And we've had a, a few questions. How does that affect the PNP modern search? It does not at all. So there's no relation between those two things. We'll keep on running. So if I upload my package to that catalog, it goes in here. And uh, once it's installed, I'll be asked to uh, uh, provide some uh, uh, API access for this one. I can do that or I can just skip it because this isn't only uh, optional. It's primarily to do with the, the ability to look up uh, people information on uh, in graph. Another option is that we can uh, enable this app on all sites. That is, of course, an option that sort of like what we're used to uh, back in, um, in the old days where every app that is installed is also available on all sites collections. But we can also choose to just enable uh, the app so we can pull the app from the various uh, site collections as we uh, please. It's primarily a question of taste as far as I'm concerned. So if we enable our app, it will take a bit of a while, uh, it's a small one, and then we will get um, a bit, uh, yeah, come on, move it. Um, so now it is available on the tenant level and we can start using it. And the app permissions is something that we can grant it either now or later or never, if we don't want to, uh, to allow the app to do that. So that was one option. But we still have our guy here who's uh, not happy about this. So what can we do if we are on a tenant where we cannot use the app catalog? Well, we are uh, kind of uh, lucky that we can also uh, move along and uh, just install it on the site collection. Some people are not aware of that uh, option, but it is actually uh, an option that we have. So if we go into my uh, tenant again, and we go to a site, which I have previously created, very um, informative name. But if I go into this one and I try to uh, uh, install um, the app on the site collection, I can't do that. There's, there's no way I have uh, to, to actually install it in here. I'll have to um, do a little bit of uh, handiwork, and that is to run a bit of partial. In my case, there might be other ways to do it. Let me, let me be honest about that. But I'm, I'm a PNP PowerShell guy, so I, I always revert to that option. So I connect to my admin center. 
and then I connect to, uh, I just ask it to add a PNP site collection app catalog on that site that I'm actually uh, using right now. So let's just do that. See what happens. Okay, it's done. If I go back to my uh, site collection and I do a refresh, there's a list called apps for SharePoint that's been uh, added as well. So if I go in here, this looks very familiar and I can uh, add my um, uh, PNP uh, on search web parts here as well. This also gives me the ability to have ver different versions on different uh, different versions of PMP modern search on different site collections. So if, for instance, now I have a, a version right here, by the way, uh, my 410, I would like to test that one, but I don't want to override the one that I have in my app, um, in my tenant app catalog. So I just want to use this package or this uh, set of uh, features on a specific site collection. I can do that. So in general, I use 4.9, but on this site collection, I use 4.10. That also were uh, pretty handy from time to time. So I just installed this one and then uh, thinking about that for a bit. And now it's there and it comes up again and asks me to, uh, if I want to uh, yeah, apply to all sites in the site collection. Well, that's, uh, that doesn't really make sense here. So. Uh, Let's just install it. So, let's see, it should be there. So now we have this one deployed on our site collection. So let's go home and perhaps we can add it now. That's that's the thing we have seen some people get tricked by. Right now. That web part, those web parts, which is a part of that uh, package, it's not here. It's because we haven't added it yet. We have added it to the site collection um, catalog, but we haven't added it as an app. So if we go up here, say add an app, now we have both of them actually available. Um, the one from this, uh, the tenant app catalog and the one from the site uh, app catalog. So let's just add that one. And now I have my uh, web parts uh, available on the site as soon as it is ready. We can go in here and have a look in our site content. Well, it's still grayed out, so it's still um, installing, basically. So now it's all rare and we should be able to start using our web parts. All of the goodies, they're here now. So that gives you an option uh, as far as even if you are on a pretty locked down tenant, you can still manage to get uh, your PMP modern search web parts uh, on your site collection. If, uh, that is what you are looking forward to do. So that was sort of a very brief uh, introduction to how you can actually ch kind of cheat the system and uh, get it on your uh, site collection anyway. And uh, next time, which is somewhere in what the middle of January, um, I have another uh, session about people search. So I'll hope to see you there and back to you, Bo.